remember me sharing with you a couple of days ago about this particular individual that dared to call us, that's right, people who admire, respect and love the fact that the British monarchy do so much for us, complete flag-waving idiots, remember him? I told you, didn't I, how we got a brand new play coming up in the West End next year, Doctor Strangelove, and it needs, you know, angels, backers, money, investors, all of that sort of stuff. So you can see exactly he's not particularly bright. And one of the things I would say about this particular individual is, if you're so keen to change the world, why not stand to become an MP or something like that? But you're a multi-millionaire preaching to people who are far less well off than you, telling them what they should be doing. You know what I mean. But it's a strange thing, isn't it? Because these people that come out and attack others suddenly find themselves, well, not doing that well. Let me explain. Hi, good morning, how are you? Nice to see you today. Nice to have your company and a good wave, yes. Uh, no, trees are dropping down here at the moment, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Heard something snap off, I thought that was me. Turns out to be a branch, <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? You think, is that my leg gone already? <laughs> but you know, it, I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to literally share this bit of gossip as well with you because as you know, Claridge's has just got a brand new floor. You know, the five-star mega deluxe Claridge's, yes. Wonderful place, you know, it really is. Last time I was in there, I enjoyed afternoon tea uh, alongside, of course, uh, this particular gentleman, Charles Spencer, um, the brother of the late and beautiful Princess Diana. Lovely fella, lovely tea. Glad I wasn't paying. You get the picture. But you see, Leonardo DiCaprio, international film star, megastar, is apparently going to be the very first person to stay in the penthouse at Claridge's, which is apparently £60,000. Yes. Sick now is a climate activist, remember, so I'm sure he's cycling all the way over here just to stay, you know what I mean? Of course he won't be doing what me and you are doing, will we? Boarding house, bringing your own sandwiches, don't be ridiculous. No, he's living the high life, who can blame him? To our breaking story of the day, you know this guy I told you about him the other day? He called us all daft, didn't he, for being flag-waving idiots and all that sort of stuff. Well, he recently appeared on a BBC drama, uh, recreating the role of, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, of the disgraced BBC presenter, Jimmy Savile and you know apparently this was oh it's going to be marvellous you know and he was going to pick up loads of awards total flop let me tell you the ratings are dire and the BBC could not sell this program around the world you see he's not really known around the world so why would you make such an expensive thing anyway so again karma truly comes to bite but it's a little bit like Channel 4 remember a while back they decided oh so funnily to make Prince Andrew the musical that flopped cost thousands probably millions in fact and they can't shift it nobody wants to buy it and to figure on top of all of that, Channel 4 again recently made a docu-series all about the Prime Minister of the time, the Right Honourable Boris Johnson and the alleged Partygate scandal. And, well, guess what again? Nobody watched it and nobody was interested. What's a, what my point about this particular story is really this. People are struggling, you know. They want to be entertained. You know, whatever you think it's old-fashioned, but the likes of... Perry Como and company who came on sang songs and had wonderful guest stars that was entertainment why do you need to see more misery day after day but seemingly TV companies think it's fine to serve up absolute trash for you and I in the name of entertainment but it's good to know isn't it that we the public can decide whether that becomes a success or not so who's the flag waving idiot now Mr Coogan and indeed the Partygate scandal and Andrew the musical were total flops so, quite frankly, we have the power. Always lovely to share the updates with you. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.